hey guys welcome back to the channel it's trey and let's talk about how the american society of magical negroes got pulled out of theaters after three weeks only making 2.4 million dollars um because the movie was hot garbage <laughs> the movie was hot garbage so of course i don't even i wonder what the budget was but who knows what the budget is um it clearly was I mean, it's probably not that much. Maybe who knows? I think some people say it was like ten million to um, twenty million. Um, but the movie was horrible. It was, um, but the, the um, director um, debut uh, from what? What's his name? Um, Kobe Lib, and it was written by him as well. And sometimes, sometimes you gotta stop green lighting people just for the hell of it um and it kind of goes back to the whole diversity inclusion di thing because he wasn't ready he wasn't ready the story was nonsensical um you should have had a script doctor or somebody go over this script before they said yes and i mean you know it's 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 um the well who, who um I don't even know who the production, um, sight unseen or whatever. I'm just thinking to myself, like, why did you even agree to this nonsense? Like it, it just didn't make any sense because from what the movie was saying and what the movie was doing, just don't make no sense. Like you should have, you should have not even have like any producers or whatever should have been like, no, no. You tell his ass no because this is ridiculous but i mean let's be honest we knew the movie was 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 going to fail when we saw the trailer you know and, and honestly sometimes i wonder do they even like you know listen to test screenings because it, it just don't make no sense uh, and the reason why i'm saying that well no you actually you know what they don't listen to test screening because they just admitted with their disney wish that they don't, um, that Disney did the Wish movie, right? And they did test screens for it. And they said that the audience didn't like Wish, right? What was released in theaters. And instead of Disney listening to that, going back to the drawing board and trying to fix it, they're like, mm, we're going to double down on it. It's the same thing with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers did so many test screenings for their movies last year. And people was like, mm, we don't like them. Maybe if you made these changes here and there, and instead of y'all listening, you double and triple down on the shit that people don't like. And then wonder why the movie fails. It, it makes you wonder, like, damn, what what, what the fuck was y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Universal Pictures. Yeah, no, not Universal. Yeah, Universal Pictures and Focus Features um, released this movie. Yeah. Um, they They thought that... They thought that it was trying to explore um, challenging notions, but let's be honest, it stars Justin Smith. No offense, that's not a leading man. Never will be a leading man in anything. It, it, like what people thought when they had the American Society of Magical Negroes, a lot of people really thought it was going to be like some black Harry Potter thing, where it's like a secret, a secret society of black people who um, have magic and use magic to protect people. Or whatever, but instead you do the whole trope of the magical Negro, which, you know, I'm not saying that you can't do no satire, but Keenan and Peel were successful at it. You guys aren't successful at it. You know what I mean? So it's a difference. Like there's talent, and if you were gonna do, if you was gonna do that magical Negro trope, I would have got Keenan and Peel to, um, you know, help me write the script out or whatever because half the movie talks about magic and you know black people using their magic to make white people comfortable but then it turns into a love triangle and uh, once again y'all 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 asking me too much to believe that justin is a is a is a love interest or a female would be interested in him because mm, i'm sorry man gay as hell um and as an actor you, I want some um, believability and I do not believe a woman would have fallen in love with Justin in the first place and 
another problem with that movie, another problem with that movie when you're doing a whole race thing or whatever, is Justin, just like the goddamn um, director Kobe, y'all are biracial. It, you can't sit up here and make a movie talking about black people protecting, um, making white people feel comfortable with magic when your parents, one of your parents is half is white, and y'all are half white, half black, like. You see how dumb that shit sounds? So you're going to make a movie where you attack half of your own race. Because if that's the case, how are you alive? How are you alive if white people are so uncomfortable with black people? Like, it's the most dumbest thing ever. After three weeks, you deserve it. Why, why, Why the hell would I waste time keeping this damn movie in theaters? It was horrible. Stop. Look, Hollywood. <laughs> I don't. Because I, I, I see I see what the fuck this shit, this shit is. Y'all keep trying to... Y'all keep trying to make movies to appeal to black people and try to say some powerful message. But instead, you fucking insult us and then move back, move back, you know, the progress that we've had. Like... It's 2024. Enough of that white guilt bullshit. Enough of that, oh, you know, every time a white person sees black people, they move away. And black people been secretly using their magic powers to help um, white people feel comfortable. Or, you know, we, um, we're the black friend that helps white people or whatever to make them feel comfortable or you know, to save, to save them or whatever, and I'm just kind of over the bullshit, like, if, if you're not even gonna, if you're not even gonna attempt to tell a, tell a good story, a coherent story, then you shouldn't even have bothered with this bullshit, because what you, your main focus should have been magic, it should have been this boy learning magic, and learning, like, what is it, what it's like to be a person who has magic powers, but can't really show it off especially in front of people but you have to use your magic powers to save people's lives and is he willing to reveal the society of of magical negroes um to the world in order to save somebody or whatever because of a prophecy that might happen i would have preferred you doing some bullshit like that and maybe justin could have been the main character, then that would have been more believable because he is a fucking nerd geek or whatever. And that would, that would work. You know what I'm saying? You know, but other than that, him being a leading man uh, of being a love interest and all that nonsense. Look, y'all stop, stop trying to play with me. Stop trying to play with me. Like for real, don't play, don't play stupid because this shit was stupid in the first place it shouldn't even have been thought about at all because y'all just got to think like what was the purpose what was the purpose of this you said that you you made this movie the movie was made to um challenge the norms of race in you know united states but first off the movie's filmed in fucking california and it's it's uh filmed in in the area of you know what san francisco i believe or um a little bit of la where you know everybody's hippie everybody's um open and free and you know that little personal bubble of bullshit that if once you step out of uh california you'd be like whoa shit or step out of la or whatever you know is completely different so mm, that was weird too and then on top of that just like okay then the boy if he doesn't help white people all the black people can lose their magic and he still sacrifices a group of people just so he can get in the bed with this white girl while also ignoring his duties to help that white guy that he was tasked to like i don't know what kind of damn message you're trying to say but it comes off very hateful it comes off very hateful honestly so you're willing to burn the world down just to get in the pants with the girl and ignore every all your responsibilities that you have that's kind of pathetic honestly i don't i that's not that's not something i, I don't understand these these notions of these movies where mm-hmm. the main character selfishly is doing shit and then 
at the end of the day, it blows up in everybody's faces. But the hero, but the main character, we're supposed to idolize and be like, yep, I'm going to pick his side. No, what you did was stupid. It's a, again, once again, it goes back to the same shit with Wish is that you got the stupid bitch. Her dumb ass want, the, want everybody to have their wishes without understanding magic has a price. It costs for magic. Not everybody's wish is pure. So to sit up here and take take away those, um, you know, take away that that wish, those wishes, and give it back to people while also destroying the payment plan that that, that King Magnifico has for the for the kingdom to protect the kingdom is very selfish. I don't care what nobody says. It I, these notions where we're literally having the main character do some selfish bullshit. And then we're supposed to root for them at the end of the day. Doesn't make logical sense. And it makes sense with this movie. So honestly, it is what it is. The movie deserve everything, um, everything it came that it got, which wasn't much of nothing because nobody was really watching this movie. Nobody really cared for it. So I'm glad that it didn't do well. I'm glad that it got pulled from theaters because it teaches it teaches a lesson. And it also teaches that you can't just give any and everybody a damn job. So, yep, those are my personal opinions. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.